Hello, red shirts, and welcome to Follow Me and Die. I'm your host, Larry Hamilton, and today on Roll 20 for the Absolute Beginner, I want to revisit something related to Episode 9, where I talked about how to move a single player or individual players to a different map from what all the other players are on, and how it can be used to aid the game master in game prep. So as you may know, when you see the different players listed in your game, if there's a little green token next to their name, that means they're currently signed into your campaign. And if you're signed into the campaign and you're viewing something as the players, and you come up here and you drag the player tab to what you don't want them to see, somebody signed into your game is going to see it. Another reason to do that, sign in and see something from the player perspective when you're the game master preparing your session is so you can make sure everything is on the right layer. So let's go look at this right here. So the red, this is stuff on the map layer. So if I switch to the map layer, you can see that it lets me move it. If I switch back to the object and tokens, the only thing I can move is a token. This text that is blue that looks like it's faded in this faded token of an owlbear are on the GM layer. Well, if you had lots of different things on the GM layer that you wanted to be able to see as the GM, but you don't want your players to see, how do you get it so that you can see the map as a player without dragging that banner over for all the players to be able to see it should they happen to sign in? Well, it's the same way as I discussed in episode nine, where I talk about moving single players to a different map. So what we do is click on the map or the page toolbar and the map with the blue is the one the game master is currently on. And if we come to this tab, here I am signed in as a player. I see what the players see and there's no page toolbar. So I have to do it this way. I can drag the name of the player that represents the game master. And you'll see my token up here. And then if I switch back to the player view, it's changed and I can see what's on the map layer and I can see the token and move the token, but I can't see this note and token that are hiding on the game master layer because the game master doesn't want me to see that as a player. So that's a quick way to make sure you've done that right. Uh, past experiences I've had where that would have been helpful is on a complex map I built that was huge. I had tokens for room numbers. I had the room numbers on the map layer instead of the game master layer. So everybody's saying, what's this number one? What's this number whatever? And so I just missed it. Doing a quick review of whatever you've placed on the different layers from a player's view would be a handy way to do it. And if you do it so that your players don't pop in and see something you don't want them to see till they find it during the game, this is the best way to do it. Because you'll see all the different names of all your players that are in the game. And rather than get surprised and then have to uh, do something, you can do that. And then uh, as a game master, the game master still sees that and the player is still there. And when you're done, just drag this back over to the players tab and it merges back with the players. And then when you come back to this map as game master and as player, it switches back to the other map. Hopefully, this is something that you find useful, just a quick little tip. And this basically helps you ensure that your different notes and labels and tokens and other things that need to be on certain layers are on the right layers. Is Sometimes it, time is short preparing for a game. Sometimes you've got a lot of little notes or other information you put on there. For me, I will have tables for like what's the monster in this area doing, uh, random encounter tables for what kind of a creature is it in subtables and stuff. And I'll put it on the game master layer so I don't have to go shuffling through papers or try to find it. Uh, otherwise, of course, the more stuff that's on the map, the less I have notes on there. But if it's not a very busy 
map, then I put more text on the Game Master layer to remind me what's going on. And that would be a way to make sure that I don't accidentally expose my notes to the players so that they, well, spoil the adventure, as it were. Also, I'd like to point out that I'm approaching 950 subscribers. So I'd really appreciate that if you appreciate what I do on these videos, that you would like, share, tell others about them, and subscribe. Because once I hit a thousand subscribers, I can get some more options. Not just the monetary thing, it's the community tab, and some other things will become available that aren't available until you have larger subscriber base. And I just want to thank you all very much for watching. And as always, game on.